Hey, this is John B. from GoFishMagazine.com. I'm here to show you how to do Baja Lingcod Fish Tacos. And I caught some Lingcod up in Alaska this year. I absolutely love Lingcod. I know a lot of people normally use Dorado, but today we're going to do Lingcod. One of the things that I do with my fish is I put it in a bowl of water and I bring it up to room temperature and that water has some salt and that salt is going to freshen it up. It's going to make it a little bit firmer and I will take it out of here and I'll rinse it to get the salt off but it just really freshens up that fish and you won't have any fishy taste. Get all that salt off but it just makes it so much nicer and having your fish at room temperature makes it cook a little bit more even. If you take it out of the refrigerator and put it on a skillet or in the oven, the core temperature is going to be colder so it won't be done at a proper um, cooking temperature. So you always want to do that. That's what the restaurants do. So what I'm going to do for fish tacos is I'm going to cut this fairly thin and I see I have a few bones so I want to get away from my bones. Nobody wants bones in their fish taco. there's no bones. Trim off any excess like this. And like all of my recipes, I like them to be simple. So you can do this recipe and you can change it a little bit for your own taste. There's some bones here. I'll just take that out. I can cook that and then just have it separate without having it in a fish taco. Now I'm going to do a couple of things that are a little bit different than what most people would do. I'm going to cook it with Italian recipe ready-made tomatoes. Now these are really really delicious. I'm going to put that in the pan along with a little bit of canola oil. Gotta get my pan going here. I want my temperature at about 6. So now I'm just going to add that in there. Let that go. Turn that down a little bit. The idea here is to sear it off pretty quick. And I also have a spice blend. It's got a little bit of rosemary and some onions. I'm going to sprinkle that in here. The pan is cooling down a bit. I can turn it up to six. While these are cooking, I could warm my my tacos. They're a soft taco, uh, but if you warm them up, they're going to be tougher and harder to eat. So I'm just going to have them cold. It's a lot easier anyway. You could also use tongs for this. Might work a little better. that boil. The idea of those tomatoes is just to give it some flavor. I know it says Italian, but we're going for Baja. While that's cooking, I'm going to show you what I have. I've made some sauce. And this sauce is for the tacos. And they both are basically the same, but just a little bit different. I take half mayonnaise and half sour cream, and then I add whatever I want. In this case, I have cilantro, fresh cilantro, and the juice from one lime. On this one, I've added one teaspoon of tapatio, and I've got dill. I've got the dill from four sprigs, 
and I'll put the whole recipe right here if you want to make that and that just gives you a little bit of an option this one's a little bit hotter and that one's just a lot more flavorful if you like cilantro so if you're having a dinner party as I am tonight I want to offer my guests something a little bit different I also have some coleslaw that I made that you can put on your fish taco super simple a little bit of rice vinegar a little bit of garlic powder onion powder and some about one half of a lime just squeeze it on there and it's a nice blend and then I have of course some salsa and that is the fixings for fish tacos and I'm using a multi-grain flour tortilla for the fish taco and then once this is all done all you have to do is put this in your taco fold it up and eat it. And we're also going to have a side of rice. It's red beans and rice. Delicious. It smells wonderful. Super simple recipe to make. You can go to your store and you can adapt it to your own taste. If you don't like my tomatoes, you can have fresh tomatoes. But this is really infusing a nice, nice spicy tomato flavor with these tacos. And you could also use a Dorado instead of a Lincot or Halibut or Ono, whatever fish you want. Now my son likes to make salmon tacos, fish tacos, and they're delicious as well. So this is going to cook for a total time of about four to five minutes. Don't want to now it's it. time to put together our Baja Lincot fish taco. So I'm going to Put a nice little piece of lingcod in here. And we even have some of that rice. If you like rice and you want to add it, you can. I'm going to add just a little bit for flavor. And I like the cilantro. So I'm going to have a little bit of this sauce. And Got to get some slaw in there. So it's entirely up to you what you want to put in your taco. And then a little bit of salsa. Got to have some salsa. Many ways to do this. You can make it like a burrito or you can fold over one end like this so all the good stuff doesn't leak out and there's your fish taco mm. that's wonderful I have all the recipe information right here be sure to check out next week's recipe for Go Fish Magazine my name is John Beath we'll see you next week